You are welcome to today's class. In today's class, we are going to be discussing polygons. A polygon is a 2D shape that has at least three lines. As discussed earlier on, we talked about plane shapes. We have listed out shapes that we have. We have triangle, we have square, we have rectangle, we have parallelogram and so on and so forth. But in this class, we want to go beyond that. We want to go beyond that. So, a polygon is a plane shape that has at least three sides. So, at least three sides. But the, the minimum size that we can have in a polygon is three sides and three angles. So, we can have the one of four angles, four sides, five angles, five sides, and so on and so forth. So, the name of the polygon will determine the number of sides or the number of angles it has. So we'll be looking at that. So a polygon, that's what polygons are. So in the next one is to now look at the types of polygons that we have. So in that case, we have to draw this uh, diagram. So if you look at this table, we want to look at types of polygons that we have. So these are the number of sides. We have the one of three sides. You know, I said, don't forget from the definition that polygon are, must have at least three sides. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on and so forth. So the name of the one that has three sides is triangle. Triangle. So how many triangles we have in a triangle? So this is a triangle here. We can only have one. One triangle. So therefore, it has one triangle. The sum of angles in a triangle, as we know before, is 180 degrees, right? So then, the one that has four sides is called quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals. Quadrilatera. So, how many triangles can we see in a quadrilateral? Let's look at this rectangle. So, how many? triangles can we see here so we can only draw it once divided into two this is a triangle this is a triangle it has one and two it has two triangles right so just take note then since it has two triangles it means some of its angles will be since one angle one triangle is 180 degrees then two triangles will be what 180 multiplied by two that gives what 360 degrees therefore this will be what 360 degrees. I believe I'm making sense. Then we look at the next one. The one that has five sides is called pentagon. 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 So how many triangles are we going to see in this? So if I should raise this, if I should raise this, if I should raise this, if I have this pentagon. This is a pentagon. So how many triangles can we see from here? I can join this corner to this one. I can as well join this one. So I cannot join from here so that I do not cross this line. I don't want to go across. So it will be one, two, three. One, two, three. So it has three triangles. So what would then be the sum of its angle? So since it has three triangles, that means it's going to be three Multiply by what? 180 degrees. This is 2 multiplied by what? 180 degrees. And that gives what? 540 degrees. Right? Then 6 size is called hexagon. 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 So how many triangles? You can see the trend. So 1, 2, 3. So with next of the words, I'm going to have 4 triangles. So how do we get that? So it means, if you look at this one, the number of sides is 3. So meaning that number of sides is 3 minus what? Minus 2 gives 1. So 4 is number of sides. 4 minus 2, that gives 2. Then 5 minus 2, 5 minus 2, that gives us 3. Then this will go 6 minus 2, that gives us 4. That's how we have it like that. In that case, you can see we are just subtracting 2, 2 from the number of sides that it has. So, what would then be the sum of its angle? That would be 4 multiplied by what? 180 degrees. That gives us 720 degrees. Hope that is clear. Then for this, this is called heptagon. 
Heptagon. Heptagon. So it's going to have how many sides? How many triangles? That is going to be 7 minus 2. That gives us 5. So that means 5 multiplied by what? 180 degrees. And that gives us 900 degrees. And so on and so forth. So let's write this first. This will be what? Octagon. That is 8 minus 2. That gives us 6. 6 multiplied by what? 180 degrees. And that gives us 1080 degrees. Right? So this is no nine. No na gun. That is nine minus two. That gives what? Seven. Seven triangles. <clears throat> that is seven multiplied by what? 180 degrees. That gives what? <clears throat> that is 1260 degrees. Then for the deck, this is decagon, the last one, decagon, decagon. So that is 10 minus 2, that is 8, then 8 multiplied by what? 180 degrees. That gives us 1440 degrees. But in a situation whereby we don't know the number of sides, so N stands for number of sides. We don't know the number of sides, so the name, don't know the name, it could be anything. But the number of triangles will be what? The number of sides minus 2, that will be n minus 2. Am I with you? So therefore, some of its angle will be n minus 2 multiplied by what? 180 degrees. So meaning that some of angles, some of interior angle, some, so we can conclude that some of interior angles of a polygon will be n minus 2 bracket what 180 degrees or so we can have it this way so that is the sum of angles of sum of interior angles of any polygon so that is how to derive the formula and the names and so and so forth so we'll be looking at questions later on in the next video. Thank you for watching.